This is my eighth solo trip, so you could say I'm pretty used to being on solo trips. Five years ago, on my very first solo trip, I decided why not go start living life? Because life is a lot more fun when you start enjoying your own company. If you've ever wanted to go on a solo trip, this video is for you. I'm sharing what it really looks like to go on a solo trip. Got here today, like in like two hours ago. Oh really? How long are you here for? Until Wednesday. There's a jazz festival. Oh. I think like a like museums and like art and stuff. Yeah. Like, well, it's 47. Yeah. It's 47. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, so no. This is jazz. Sitting at how do you say it? Portillo's. Portillo's. That was the hot dog place. She's so nice. She's also on a solo trip, and I'm on a solo trip. So the universe just wanted us to meet. We love serendipitous moments. Like I'm a serendipitous girl. That's a jazz lounge. Okay. I have not even entered the vlog. I haven't explained anything. I am in Chicago. This trip came about in the last few days. I've been wanting to come to Chicago for years. I've been to almost all the major cities in the country except for Chicago. So I'm not really sure why it's taken me this long. It's been really fun so far. Very walkable city. Clocked like 14,000 steps. I haven't even left for dinner, which is where I'm going right now. I'm gonna go get some deep dish pizza. Whoever is from Chicago or has been to Chicago, you already know. Deep dish is what Chicago is known for one of the things. I am staying at Freehand Chicago. I have stayed in a few Freehand locations around the country. It's Labor Day weekend. Do something outside of the city. Do something I've never done. Okay, I'm only here for a few days, but I obviously needed to show you guys what I do. I'm actually going on a date tonight. We can get into that in a debrief later on in this vlog. Here is my outfit. Very trusted bodysuit. Really love it. Full disclosure, these jeans are a little tight on me. I haven't worn them in so long. And yes, my hair. Thanks for noticing. Natural hair vibe for a little bit. Okay. Well, I don't know why I didn't do that at the beginning. lot of background and noise because of the cars so I'm sorry <sighs> a night was had one on the date it was very fun he took me literally on a tour of the Chicago bars like we went to six different bars they were all arranged upscale divey standout things from yesterday Gibson such a cool sexy place with cool clientele bar restaurant area is one of the most stunning things I've ever seen RL which is the Ralph Lauren restaurant. You didn't know there's a Ralph Lauren restaurant in New York called the Polo Bar, which is such a hard reservation to get. I've never been. <laughs> One day, I'm manifesting. Amongst the other places, we went to RL 
restaurant. Literally so beautiful, so stunning. I want to go back there. The highlight of last night, there's an app that you can pay to like play music and that was so much fun. Gino's East. There's a lot of different pizza places that you can go, but the main ones are Gino's East, Lou's, and Giordano's. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry. It was very good. Even the smallest pizza is still very filling. I only had two pieces. I wanted to talk about just leaning in when you're on vacation, when you are in a new city. If I had planned out my whole day yesterday, I would not have had the experiences I did. I basically was awake for 24 hours. I'll keep it at that. Tonight, I will definitely be needing to sleep. Right now, I'm in the Fulton Market area. I took the bus. Buses and trains are pretty much the same like in New York. The accessibility and transportation wise is good. First stop is going to get food. I am hyper fixated on getting a chicken Caesar salad. Making the most of Chicago. Keeping the energy going. I'm wearing Levi's overalls. Very light sweater. These very cute Steve Madden shoes. Let's go. Reviewing Au Cheval shit show to get this freaking salad. Is it worth $30? No. The weight was quoted to freaking hours. That's crazy. The salad, eh, for me. To Target to buy this one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm live from Lake Michigan. <laughs> and the look for night two in Chicago. Guys, I'm going on another date. A new person. I'm excited to be a little bit more of Chicago. I am exhausted. I will not be out late, I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. <laughs> After the workday, we'll get into some excursions. Oh, my hair in a ponytail. Who is she? Very casual outfit, but cute. I'm still deciding if this is a place I can see myself living. I'm not sure. Just going to enjoy our last full day here in the windy city of Chicago. Oh, I went on a date last night. I was exhausted, one, so the date wasn't that long, but two, he was super nice, but I didn't really feel a connection in that way. Today is a pretty much a soul day. I kind of haven't even had a soul day all this trip, but this is still a solo trip, very friendly, and I meet people along the way. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's me. Hello. Oh my gosh. I am Tracy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I'm in this coffee shop in Chicago, just working away, and she came and said hi through the window. I've been watching your videos for maybe the last three months. Oh my god! Yeah. Wait, how exciting! We just got done with working. Now it's time for some fun. First off, I need lunch. I have not eaten 
a true meal yet. fitting for the setting and you'll see what I mean Dyson curl my hair went to the brewery that was really fun trying all those different types of beers so I highly recommend if you like breweries beer tasting I really like beer tasting fun fact about me I wanted to see if I can get on the river boats just like a very spontaneous thing I didn't have a time slot that I wanted to do and also I feel like 90 minutes is a very long ride. I wanted a 45 minute one, but they didn't have that for today. I went to Navy Pier, which was a good activity. If you're not from here and you just want something else to do that's outside. I've ridden so many Ferris wheels in my life in many different countries and states. That was really enjoyable to do as a fun little solo experience. Let's go. <laughs> trade empire state top of the rock in new york the elevator was so fast it took like less than 10 seconds to get all the way up it was so quiet i felt like i had to throw in some type of cultured experience <laughs> to really round out the trip here but look at me I'm really sporting new york today you are amazing you are doing it wow Hi, 
away from the ledge. I'm actually terrified, but I'm facing my fears, showing you guys that in real time. This is pretty cool. So this is the ledge part of the sky deck. I will be so honest, my hands were shaking. They're still sweaty. This is a true fear. <laughs> However, I have jumped out of planes before and done some extreme sports, but nothing will prepare you for this. When you go on a solo trip, know that you are never alone. There are so many people who are so welcoming and so friendly and who will truly enhance your experience. Also use the time to lean into yourself and learn more about what you love and what makes you, you. If you stayed this far in the video, I hope that you take that leap and go on your own solo trip.